Okay, our next inheritance pattern is co-dominance. In co-dominance, we start out with two alleles from the parents. Uh, both of these alleles are going to share dominance, so they're equally dominant to each other. When you put them together, you get this new third phenotype. And this third phenotype, this heterozygous individual, is going to represent the parental alleles equally. So you're going to see both parental alleles. So they're sharing dominance. Um, there's no blending. There's no one over the other. You're going to see both of them separately and equally. The examples that we're going to look at, um, we're going to practice with hair color in cattle. Um, we could also have done horses, but we're using cows. We're going to look a little bit at human blood type, but I'm going to run you through a practice here with chicken feather color. So with the fur color in cattle, and we're going to see this uh, in, in just a little bit, this is a pretty common example of co-dominance. We have red hair with white hair. doesn't make pink, but it makes roan. So you have an equal number of red and white hairs if you want to sit down and all your time and start counting those and make sure that they're equal. You could do it. We're going to play around with chicken feather color here in just a bit. And then human blood type. Now we're going to come back to human blood type because it's a little bit more complicated. So there's a lot of different inheritance patterns that are incorporated in our human blood type. But for codominance, some people have type A blood, some people have type B blood. If you put them together, you may get, now I say may get, and we're going to look at the complexities of this later, you may get type AB blood. So A and B are equally represented. Okay, uh, let's work through chicken feather color. So with chickens, we might have black feathers, we're going to use a B, white feathers, we're going to use a W, and our third phenotype is going to be ermineate, or some people call this a checkered or a speckled chicken, but the picture I chose is an American ermineate chicken. All right, let's work through this. So we are going to be crossing black. That should be big B, big B. Cross with white, WW. They're homozygous, they're purebred. Put them around your Punnett square. And then what we'll see, box one, two, three, and four are all BWs. Now, for their genotypes, the genotypes of the two letters represent our underlying genes on our chromosomes. All four boxes are BW, so that's 100% BW, 100% heterozygous. And then for the phenotype, we've got to look back at our key, BW is ermineate, so we have 100% ermineate. Now, our next generation, we're going to take two of these checkered chickens and put them together and see what we get. So there's one checker chicken and another checker chicken. So box one, you know what it's gonna be in box one, BB. Box two, BW. Box three, BW. Don't be switching off to WBs halfway through this. Just keep it the way it is. However you start it, it's how you need to finish it. So be consistent. And box four, dub dub. All right. Now, our genotypes and phenotypes are going to be the same, so I'm just going to cheat here and save some space. So, one box is big B, big B. So, there's 25% big B, big B for a genotype, and that also means that one box, or 25%, are going to be black. Box 2 and box 3 are BW, they're heterozygous, and they're also going to be permanent or checkered or speckled. And then box four, the two capital W's here will be 25% white. And then our ratio for both of them again, one to one. All right, now for your next practice. So on your own, on your own paper, we're going to look at the cattle. So it might be helpful to make yourself a key, whatever you want to do, however you want to do this. But in cows, hair color is co-dominant. So we're going to perform a cross between a purebred red 
So remember, purebred is homozygous, and that's going to be big R, big R. Then we're going to take a purebred white, again, homozygous, so it means the same. We're going to do the W, W. And then what are the genotypes and the phenotypes of your offspring, box one, two, three, and four? And then just like before, we're going to take two members of this F1 generation. So we could just take box three and slide it right here. Box four, put it right there. And then work out your next generation, and we'll see what we get in the cattle of the third generation, the grandkids. And when you finish this, we'll go over it.